MBA 633 instructional video prepared by Professor Amit Tara, School of Management, George Mason University. Uh, in this segment, we will uh, apply the normal distribution uh, to address a problem of some uh, practical significance. So the cockpits of uh, fighter aircraft are very tight spaces with lots of controls surrounding the pilot. Uh, so the ergonomics of these controls and the design of the ejection seat are very critical. And they are done with uh, keeping in mind the distribution of the heights of the potential pilots. Now, from a few years back, the adult male heights were found to be distributed normally with a mean of 69.2 inches and a standard deviation of 2.8 inches. Similarly, adult female, their heights were also distributed normally, uh, but with a mean of 63.8 inches and a standard deviation also of 2.8 inches. Now, the Air Force has a height restriction of 64 to 77 inches to be a fighter pilot. Anybody outside that height range cannot apply to be a fighter pilot. So the first question is what proportion of adult males and adult females is the Air Force excluding from applying to be fighter pilots? Obviously, you want a large range so you can get the best uh, pilots for the, for the Air Force. But at the same time, if the range is too large, then the design of the aircraft becomes uh, more challenging and costs go up and so forth. So it's a, it's a practical problem of some significance and there are conflicting goals here. Uh, so from a statistical standpoint for, for part A, uh, let's do it for the males first. So what proportion of adult males is the Air Force excluding from being fighter pilots? Obviously, this is the uh, proportion of males whose height is less than 64 inches. Or greater than 77 inches so in terms of probability I want the probability of X less than uh, less than I'm sorry um, less than 64 inches plus the probability of X greater than 77 inches okay so let's see how we would do that um, uh, with the uh, built-in Excel function all right, now you know that the probability of X mm, less than uh, 64, you would use the norm dist, since I know where I am on the X axis and I want the probability. So norm dist 64, the mean is 69.2 and the standard deviation is 2.8 and the cumulative is 1. So the probability is 3 percent. So, so um, uh, the proportion of the population that is less than 64 inches tall is 3 percent. Now let's do it for the 77 inches. So I would do equal to norm dist 77. The mean is 69.2. Standard deviation 2.8. Cumulative is 1. But notice that this probability in 0.997 is the area under the bell curve, under the normal distribution to the left of 77. So this is not the probability that I want. The probability that I want, in other words, the probability of X greater than 77 is 1 minus this 0.99 that I've just calculated. Okay. Therefore, the sum of the two probability, the probability of heights being less than 64 or greater than 77 is simply the sum of these two. Okay, so the answer is the proportion of adult males that the Air Force is excluding from becoming fighter pilots is 3.4 percent. It's not a whole lot. So this uh, height range that the Air Force has set, height restriction 64.77, pretty much includes all of the adult population. So they are not unnecessarily restrictive, restricting themselves. But now that women can join the Air Force as well, let's see how this old uh, height restriction applies to, to females. How, uh, how selective or how inclusive are we being in, uh, in, in, in the women who can apply to be fighter pilots? So let's see. So in this case, again, I want for, for females, for women, I'm looking for the probability of Y less than 64 plus the probability of y greater than 77 inches. The same as the previous one, but now the mean and the standard deviation have changed, do you, you notice, for the, for, uh, for the women. Okay, 
So let's see the probability of y less than 64 is equal to norm dist 64. The mean is 63.8. The standard deviation is 2.8. The cumulative is 1. Up. Okay. Typographical error. Excuse me. Let me correct this. Okay, so 52.8% of women are shorter than 64 inches. So you already see that the the uh, height restriction that the Air Force has in place excludes a lot of women from applying uh, to be fighter pilot. Now let's do the probability of Y being greater than 77, the same way like we did previously. So this is equal to norm best of 77. The mean is uh, 63.8. Standard deviation is 2.8, the cumulative is 1, so this is 0 0.999. Of course, this is the probability to the left of 77, and that's not what I want. I want the probability to the right of 77, so that would be 1 minus, oops, sorry, this would be equal to 1 minus this probability is, uh, is practically 0, okay? So the probability of uh, uh, the, the proportion of women who are disqualified from applying to the uh, to be fighter pilots because of this height restriction is simply the sum of these two probabilities. The second one being so close to zero, we can practically ignore it. But basically, 53% of women are being excluded uh, from uh, uh, being eligible to apply to be fighter pilots if these uh, height restrictions remain in place. I don't know what they are currently. That this is what they were um, uh, not too long ago. So, um, based on these statistics and the pattern of heights, maybe these uh, height restrictions need to change. Okay, now let's do a slightly different variant of the same problem, uh, and we'll restrict this um, uh, to males just so that we have to do half as many calculations. So, assume that a height of less than 64 inches will not work in the cockpit for engineering reasons. So, you know, things have to be of a certain distance from one another and so forth. So, too short a pilot uh, will not uh, function in, in the cockpit. So, let's assume that for engineering reasons, a height of less than 64 inches will not work. So, the question is, what should the upper height limit be so that 95% of the adult male population can apply to be fighter pilots? Okay. So this is going to take a little manipulation over here. So I've drawn some uh, values over here. The mean for males, mean height is 69.2 inches. The standard deviation is 2.88 inches. And the lower limit is 64. We are saying that less than 64 inches will not work for, uh, for engineering reasons. So I want to know what is the what upper limit should I set as an Air Force official so that this shaded area over here is 95 percent so from the lower limit to the upper limit i capture 95 percent of the adult male population a similar logic you can apply to working for uh, for women okay so let's do it piece by piece let's first figure out what is the area to the left of 64 that's the lower limit all right so this would of course be norm dist 64 the mean is 69.2 the standard deviation is 2.8 cumulative is 1 so that's 31 uh, 3 percent i'm sorry so 3 percent of the population so this area is 3.16 percent okay so i want this middle to be 95 percent right so obviously the area to the right of 64 uh, would be 1 minus this fellow. So probability of x being greater than 64 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.03165. Okay, so this is the area to the right of 64. And this is equal to, let's see how much that turns out to be. equal to 1 minus 
this is 0 0.9683 so this is the area to the right of 64 so now I want 95% to be covered from 64 up to the upper limit so the area to the right of the upper limit would be 0.96835 minus 0.95 isn't it so so the area to the right of u would be this probability minus 0.95 okay so the area to the right of u is 0.95 so now I'm, I'm in a very good position to calculate u because if the area to the right of u is 0.0183 in the area to the left of you why do I need the area to the left of you because that is the area that Excel needs in order to use the norm this norm inverse functions so the area to the left of you would be 1 minus this 0 0.0183 so how do I calculate you since I know the probability and I want you I have to use the norm inverse function so norm inverse and it comes back and says what is the probability the probability is 1 minus this fellow that's the probability to the left of you okay and the mean is of course 69.2 the standard deviation is 2.8 and the cumulative I'm sorry you don't need the cumulative here so it's um, uh, 2.8 close the parens off so it's 75.04 in other words my upper limit my upper limit u is equal to 75.04 or about 74 inches in other words if the height cannot be less than 64 for 64 inches for engineering reasons then if I want to capture 95 percent of the adult male population in other words I want to set an upper limit of the height so that 95 percent of the adult male population will be eligible to apply for fighter pilots then I must set the upper limit to be 75.04 uh, or about 75 inches so the purpose of this exercise was to show you how because you are constrained to working with the left side of the of the bell curve with Excel's built-in function you have to be creative in using geometry uh, to map the area under the curve that you need for your particular problem and match it to what Excel wants in, in terms of its inputs for the built-in function so this is how you would apply the Excel built-in function to work with normal distributions uh, for practical problems